Hey everybody, Dr. Rafi Wald here. Hope you all are doing well. Wanted to talk to you all a little bit, uh, again, about Parkinson's disease and its diagnosis, how it's diagnosed, how we come to the conclusion that a person does have Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease generally is considered to be a clinical diagnosis. That means that there's not one definitive lab test or imaging test that everybody relies upon. And if that's positive, then we say that a person has Parkinson's disease. More so, we rely on clinical signs and symptoms. Most specifically, we rely on symptoms such as a tremor, general slowing, stiffness in the body, and a certain kind of instability called retropulsion instability. However, there are tests that we can do that can provide corroborative evidence uh, for a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Specifically, these tests are a DAT scan, which looks at whether there is a degradation or a degeneration of dopamine cells in the brain, which is associated with Parkinson's disease. There also is a skin bi biopsy that can be conducted in order to confirm this diagnosis. Hope this information helps. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.